there are not much of financial formula that there so first formula we have fv that is for future value it is somewhere okay. related to interest uh, uh, interest rate of interest uh, like that banking terms so yeah. if we have some 50000 rupees uh, let's start from pmt actually if we we have a present value of 50000 rupees rate of interest uh, is 14% and the time duration period is 5 years so i need to identify what emi i should pay okay hmm. so we have that pmt formula for hmm. evaluation of emi so in which hmm. the first argument is rate that is this one in this formula it is important that what rate we are giving it should be on monthly basis so we will divide it from 12 okay okay and the uh, time period is also in monthly basis uh, such as n per that is means number of premiums or number of period it mm. is like that for for making 5 years in month i need to multiply with 12 okay mm. next thing is pv present value of mm. the fund I have given it that, and that is enough. So I will have that one thousand one hundred sixty-three rupees and forty-one paise EMI. How do I cross-check that it is uh, right or wrong? Okay. Mm. Suppose and. Uh, let us understand how come we are getting a negative figure actually it's a negative figure right when you use for financial formulas is always gives you negative figure ah okay it okay. is by default because excel don't have money and if you are taking out something then it will give you negative okay, value okay understood okay maybe it's like <laughs> expenses so it's yes, negative one yes. yeah yes yes so uh, for emi you will use pmt uh, and you want to know future of value of the fund so you can use fv in which you should give rate divided by 12 number of period at multiply by 12 and pmt pmt here it is okay 1 lakh something okay mm. that is future value and we have future value we want to know the present value so pv mm. pv formula is there rate will be remain same and period will be multiplied by 12 and pmt or fv you can choose optional so we choose fv Mm. It is in negative actually. That's why if we choose that PV, ah, FV, then it is also doing that forty-three thousand something. It is for something else, I think. Present value, maybe some differences there. I should use minus. No. Returns the present value of an investment. The total amount that series of future payment is worth now. Okay, we come back again on that. and 
this also have PV and RFP. So present value it is showing this one. No, this is future value it is showing me. And present value it should show from this No, the payment, uh, okay. Which one? PM. So something wrong, I think, yeah. That is like that. Because uh, there is something for identify your installment and there is something mm -hmm. you are investing your funds in the market. It is like that. Okay. Okay. Because here you can see there is a different value. 4,30,000 something is there mm. for future value but if we take PMT here it will show me different values so, okay you know, anyway it's uh, yeah it, it's actually it is a uh, something it depends upon somewhere it shows the result of your investment or somewhere it is showing your uh, yeah. yeah I know I know the, how to calculate in the normal way but uh, I never use the functions actually uh, it's fine okay the, uh, actually uh, when you we use have, that we have the uh, tables actually in that yeah <laughs> when you use that PMT function it will definitely work for evaluating uh, calculating okay. your EMI in which you can add that uh, file charges and insurance charges more it will calculate the procedure is same okay okay so we are calculating PV on the basis of PMT present mm. value and okay on the basis of future value okay what's going on wrong actually I am giving PMT from here so it is a section of mm. PMT okay but I, if yeah. I don't have PMT, I need to put here zero. Then okay. I, I need to select that FP. That has gone wrong, I think. Mm. And mm. here, here it is also, I think, gone wrong here. That's why it is confusing us. And uh, this one. Now everything is okay. Okay. Mm. What was the mistake that we I I was uh, switching between PMT and PV or FV, but if mm. I don't have values, I simply need to put zero there. Okay. Because when EMI is fifty thousand, the price will be more. So that's why it is mm. it was calculating wrong. Now everything is mm. fine. PV is giving okay. the right result and uh, FE also is giving right result. Mm. Now we have a rate function to identify rate in which N per these formulas are very simple PMT I can choose PV I can choose from here okay uh, next no next thing required it is showing me one percent because it is showing me monthly mm. if I multiply by 12 then it will give me the appropriate result mm. okay sir. okay such as you have n per the for calculating period rate divided by 12 PMT and PV uh, it should not become into percentage now it is returning me 60 what I need to do divided by 12 
पर ईयर तो बेसिकली यू हैव पीवी फॉर प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एफ वी फॉर फ्यूचर वैल्यू पी एम टी फॉर ई एम आई रेट एन पर दिस फॉर्मूलाज आर यूजफुल फॉर फाइनेंशियल कैलकुलेशन फॉर बैंकिंग इंस्टॉलमेंट टाइप कैलकुलेशन वॉट इज एन पर मीन्स पीरियड पीरियड एक्चुअली पीरियड ओके ओके so now we calculate that what is in it how we are going to pay the, this much of amount what is the break off of that what is the interest in that and what is the principal amount in that we want to calculate that so we have uh, here we have pmt formula for calculating emi now i have two formulas ppmt and ipmt PPMT means principal and IPMT means interest. It will calculate. But here I need to put one the period, all the periods here means up to sixty. I need to put here because I am checking the every month's premium. Now see, I have PPMT rate. I'll fix that value. Divide by twelve. N per that period. Fix that value. Multiplied by twelve. Ah. Uh, oh no. There is P R period. Which period means this one? First installment, second installment, third installment. The number of installment actually comes in P R period. And period mean number of periods total. So I will choose from here. I will fix somewhere. Uh, I will fix only the column, not the rows, because I will drag this formula and change P to I, Achha. so that I can identify easily. I need not to put formula again and again. Now I have to select PV. so here is your principal amount and for interest yeah. i copy this and paste here and instead of p i replace with i ipmt okay it is your interest amount and mm. we plus both of the amount the total amount is yeah this much now i copy this and paste till last now what happened this is the calculation formula here also now you can see the emi will be remain same the principal amount will yeah, be definitely. less yeah, yeah. less in first payment and the interest was more the reducing balance here reduce re reduction of interest and increase of principal this is the break up and how much interest you have totally paid you can sum that here so it was 9 Nineteen thousand eight hundred four, and the principal you have paid it is fifty thousand. Okay, total amount this much you have paid. Yeah. so if you want to know that what is the interest amount in this calculation so it will be difficult to find out because we have done this long calculation here 
but if i need to know in a single point of time that uh, with a single formula how can we recognize so we will use array formula here now how we apply that we have uh, we have applied this formula let me just copy that and here i put the formula whole formula so i have whole formula but where the per i am taking uh, this values from here i will generate through a formula that is row 1 to 60 okay and i'll put this formula under sum formula sum and now press control shift enter okay so in a single formula i have identified the uh, whole interest amount in there mm. okay yeah and if you want to do negative to positive you can use that abs function absolute i have told you in math yeah so that can yeah. change negative values to positive values so in array what happened that how i was able to calculate all these calculations mm. so we just go to evaluate formula and see what happened there this is your formula i evaluated that so first it has uh, calculated the rate then row 1 to 60 means there are 1 to 60 values there in curly braces okay mm. then what happened that uh, a time was calculated and that future uh, the present value was calculated now through ip itmt where uh, i was changing this uh, a per amount per numbers so the value was changing so here what would happen when we evaluate this formula the all the values will be calculated in this one so you can see that ipmt 583 was first one so first one is there then second one is there so all the values uh, uh which was generated here in different different cell are now in a single formula mm. and with the help of some formula i got total of all them okay so this these are uh, the array formula is complicated formulas which are uh, sometimes very much useful to save your cell space and uh, um, to escape from extra working to escape from a uh, uh, lot of hard work okay so uh, i uh, introduce something array formulas for you that how we gonna uh, do that what is array formula exactly array formulas are those formulas which works in different different cells in a single cell suppose it is started from that curly braces the first thing is that we need to press control plus shift plus enter for putting this formula into excel and now we see the example these formulas are uh, for putting array values we 
uh, start with this curly braces and I put 1, 2, 3 and 4. Close the curly braces. If I put enter, it will show 1. I will select 4 cells here and I press F2 and now press Control shift enter. What happened? While pressing my control shift enter there are curly braces here from uh, before equal to and after the formula evaluate after the formula. So every value has been distributed in different different cells. If you put comma it will be distributed in columns and if you put semicolon it will be distributed in row. So I have put a uh, semicolon here and now control shift enter. So it is showing me error because from here it got break. So what I will do and one thing more you can't change any for this formula from in between because this single formula applies in this four cells. You can't delete single cell. If you want to remove this formula, you need to select all the cell. Then you can delete it. Okay. So the structure is like this. One comma two comma semicolon three and comma four. So I have selected four cell here. I press Control Shift Enter. The value is distributed like this. Uh, now, if I select a large area, if I select a large area in which the value is applicable, it will show you and rest of the cells will show you error. Okay. yeah so this is one functionality of array formula one justification of array so formula. what purpose normally we can use this uh, more uh, yes I'm telling uh, you I'm just letting you know the basic functionality of this that how it okay 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 yeah. how, how it works now let's take an example of VLOOKUP we have ID name and city or we can say us so I put here some other names here I put from IDs now let us use array formula for calculating in VLOOKUP in VLOOKUP what I need to choose some some values are here I will put VLOOKUP lookup value from here I will fix according to you I need to change rows only not the column so I need to fix the column I have chosen that and now selected the data and it, instead of column index we can give the values and curly braces what we need in column index our column index is name and sales and that can be on two and three of column index position so I can give two comma three here in curly braces and curly braces what values you will put will be uh, distributed in different different cells so what I will do that I will select F2 and control shift enter 
So with a single VLOOKUP formula, I have generated these two sales values. It is actually very small example of array. Yeah. What is the benefit in that you can, if you delete? Yeah, understood. Yeah. That it it will not delete. And hmm. the array formulas are useful there, there where you don't have any formula, such as we have used that some function, uh, that IPMT. So you don't have formula for calculating all the interest. So I have made this formula through array formula. So now let us know something, some other things, such as we have some rate and quantity, and we need to know the amount. So what we do usually do for knowing the amount, we just multiply rate to quantity and know the amount. And here I need that total. So for evaluating this this total, I have done lot of things here. I need this total without doing all this calculation here. So what I will do this, the first I have done that I have multiplied this value to this value, single cell value to this single cell value. Now in an array formula how will I do that? I will give whole range here and whole range here multiply with that. So how will I do and then make a sum of it. So I will choose range, whole range here, multiplied with this whole range. And what I press now, control shift, enter. What happened? It got multiplied with the adjunct cell of uh, every rate. And then the sum formula done the yeah. sum of all the values. If you evaluate that, you'll find all these values here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this these are multi-cell calculation which we have done in a single formula. Fortunately, we have yeah. formula for doing all these things that is some product it is the combination of hmm. product formula and some formula so in which you just provide the range it already accept a range that's why we don't need to do anything it gives you the appropriate result yeah okay so basically it is a one of uh, one functionality of some formula uh, that uh, array formula now let's mm. take another example now I have few names and I need to calculate that how much characters are in all this list so what I will do that First, I will uh, type this len formula for knowing the length and then calculate it. There is total 28 characters. Okay. In a single formula, how will I will evaluate that? I will type a sum function in which I will provide len function. This len function actually don't take a range it takes a cell reference only where it takes a cell reference we can make it a range by using array formula so I will 
press here control shift enter the result is same what it has done it has calculated all these length in it you can see there is yeah. seven semicolon means mm. these values are down yes separated with rows mm. so now you somewhat understand about th these formulas how it works yeah 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 but our knowledge is not limited to that array formula has a very wide range even mm. a book is available only on array formulas oh my god uh -huh. it costs around 2000 rupees i think there is mm -hmm. only one book available on array formulas very oh. because it it is too much camp complicated it does lot of mm. works it improves your formula power actually mm. let us know that i want to know that uh, which is the longest name here so do i have a formula for that no no but in this list how can we uh, identify that i have uh, chosen a instead of this sum function i will use max function mm. for maximum and then i will use a index formula a uh, match index actually the match formula in which the lookup value will be this one and the lookup array will be this one match type 0 on second position and through index formula i can know this value which is the longest value so if some other name is long so it will show it yeah so how we it is a long procedure and we are going to build in a single formula mm. so let us do how we will do that for identify values we need index formula from this array okay now we need to know row number through match formula and match formula will uh, has a lookup value through a function that is max len Uh, of this range okay and through max it is looking in length only okay understand what i am doing here yeah 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 and the exact match will be there close the bracket and close it. control shift enter mm. so i have made a mm. formula which is not available in excel yeah so that's how your uh, that array formula works yeah it's really really amazing <laughs> <laughs> it is the uh, actually the simplest example of mm. this array formula array formula can be very much lengthy oh uh, there are lot of lot of examples of there and if you uh, mm. want to practice more on array formulas we will do one more session with array formula but i'll let you know from where you can get that you go in that tech on the net site and there are a lot of examples of array formula
next cell i have some problem with my internet i know it's uh, i'm able to do this thing but internet explorer is not working so download chrome yeah chrome is also not working yesterday it is working chrome is also not working today so download firefox <laughs> but i am able to yeah but i am able to uh, attend your class with this one what you called uh, that means the internet is not the problem but some problem with explorers yes yes you should chrome format or, your yeah. system and uh, uh, then you can try and here you will find the excel link i have told you about this site or not no no this site i don't know okay so it is your first reference for excel if you want to command uh, make your command on excel you should uh, go through this site i give you an introduction of this site whatever the function okay. whatever the functions this is tech on the net.com in which you will go on excel and in excel okay. the important thing you will find that excel functions and excel functions yeah. that worksheet functions alphabetically go category wise so category wise it will be useful for you and the array formulas are here so we will let you know that first worksheet functions category wise here you will find string functions numeric function all of the excel functions are there with example if you want to know some of uh, the formulas such as we go in our financial formula fv hmm. so here you have a short reference of that what the param par parameter is doing here and how you can apply your formula and what would its result okay so a short info is there about the formula so it will be very yeah. useful for you while doing work and some more yeah. functions which are two dimensional lookup it regarding the lookup function how it is working there is some example and how you will apply that I have told you about this match function between the yeah. lookup. So this is two way lookup actually. So there are a lot of examples there which you can understand easily. Convert currency into words. There are a lot of lot of functions, lot of examples there. So for array formulas, go to in array formulas. and there are a lot of things that how will you use array formula count range of times uh, such as we choose we choose any of the example this one this is a actually a basic calculation of array formula you just go through this site and practice uh, some of the examples and in next session i will uh, finish our array formulas okay first okay, okay, i sir. want you to practice on that so much yeah, sure, from your sure. own so that you can experience how the array formula is working because it is yeah, uh, somewhere yes. compli complicated to understand yeah i have uh, taken lot of classes over this revised uh, i have done lot of revision on these array formula then only okay, i can okay then only i need to apply uh, i am able to apply that otherwise it is mm. uh, not such child's play actually so yeah yeah so we will meet you tomorrow yes sir with array formula more array formula yeah okay sir yeah sure are we done with pivot okay, table sir. or chart uh, charting pivot table i am comfortable because every day i am using the pivot tables actually so uh, that's not a problem we have yeah. done or not we have done that we have done the pivot tables yes okay okay and uh, charting charting no sir charting we haven't done that okay okay so we have yeah. Uh, uh left with charting and these array formulas and then we go will 
with dashboards yeah okay sir dashboards and macro Ye yes 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 v vba you have enrolled for vba no yeah yeah vba and uh, the total i enrolled yeah vba and macros uh, everything is okay basically i started with vba only i asked then uh, other person told that you know uh, you have to uh, go with this one that will be more useful then i said okay let us go with the full full okay full course. Okay. Yes, sir. It is actually important because there are a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. sir. Good night. We will meet you tomorrow. Good night. Thank yeah. you. Okay.